Everybody, glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds of middleweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. Adams trying to repeat his last outing. Remember that impressive knockout he had, Teddy? Yeah, I don't know if he should be remembered. Maybe he should have a short memory because if he goes in there looking for the knockout, he might take away the most important part of his game, the jab, the things that set it up. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? Joe, there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Halfway through this round here. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Scored well with the hook. Let's see some more head movement. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Goes upstairs with a right hand left hook combination. On the mark, the counter punch by Adams. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Good return fire that time. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of the round, and that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything, you know. He wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you could just outwork him a little. And a sharp counter punch by Adams. Well, here he is making his pro debut, but he did fight amateur, Teddy. Yeah, and that helps a lot. You know, if you're going to be a surgeon and you've done a lot of operations, guess what? You're going to be a better surgeon. He's been in these places before. He's comfortable. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Adams doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing big money in the bank. Well, counterpunching pays off, too, because your opponent becomes a little tentative, and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. That right hand serving him well. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. What a hook by Adams. 
round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who doesn't want to waste anything. Left hook to the body. Right hand, nicely done. Off the target by Adams. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counterpunch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Adams completely missing the jab. And when that's not there, well, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying, I wanna go swimming. Guess what, there's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Committing to the combo now, both land. Watch the hook. Well played, straight right hand. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Hit. Focus. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Adam hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? You had stolen this. Keep it up. He's been on target with his attack. Good, accurate punching as we begin round number four here. And he's up three to zip on your scorecard, Teddy. Good counter punching. And when you're counter punching the right way, you're usually getting clean shots. He's getting them. Intended to the head. Good strong combo. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Well placed hook there. Halfway through round number four. He scored well after being hit himself. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. yourself right to the head with that right straight right left hook very nicely done scoring up top 10 seconds to go in this round he takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back and the round comes to an end. I think even the casual observer, the guy who doesn't watch a lot of boxing, can look at this right now and tell you he's winning this fight with ease. Yeah, I'm not worried about the casual observer. I'm worried about the so-called professional judge. Time and time again, he showed me that he does not know what he's watching sometimes. But you're right. In this case, it would be hard, almost impossible, to argue for the other fighter. Let's go. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Nice 
combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. A stabbing right hand by Adams. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Adams able to avoid that punch. Nice work. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. And he just holds on there. Not precise at all by Adams. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Effective work, the three punch combination. That was another great round from him. He seems so fresh, Teddy. I can't imagine what kind of training camp he had to be this fresh this late in the fight. Well, I can imagine. You know, I had my spies in there. And they were telling me that they took a page out of the training book of the great Rocky Marciano. They went into the swimming pools during the day, and they were doing punching for a half an hour underwater. That is one of the reasons you're seeing the results you're seeing tonight. Teddy, you've made the point a few times that, hey, it's nice to have something where you got the superior advantage. In this case, he's got the speed. But you can't fall in love with it too much. No, because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets carried away. He doesn't respect the speed yet. And he starts to run red lights. He starts to do things that he shouldn't do. And that's what's happening here. He's starting to jump in with those quick hands. He figures he doesn't have to respect the dimensions other guys have to. And when he's jumping in, he might get caught. There might be a cop there or a punch there to nail him. He missed with that headshot. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. He fires off the combination there, and it lands. Up top with the right hand. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. He gets off with a combination up top. Good shot there with that left. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Adams taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. The one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.